So allow yourself to relax. Sink into your body and ask for your barriers to drop. All the barriers are the places that stop you from receiving. And allow your awareness to go deep into Papatuanuku. In Morena, everybody, this is Chrissy from Hamilton, New Zealand. And I welcome you to these energy, expand your being exercises and pull energy into creating your life. Because what I'm knowing, what I'm experiencing already from doing this for about just over a month, every morning, things are coming into my life that I would never have dreamed of. And in a few weeks, I'll be able to tell you of some exciting things that are showing up for me. I just want you to know that we are not everything we think our body is. We're not the size of our body. We are huge, infinite beings. And you can tell that I have a lot of gratitude right now. That's, maybe that's an energy that I've chosen. This morning as I was making a cup of tea, I was pulling the energy of gratitude into my whole body and into my being. Just expand your being. Just relax, Jim. Allow your body to relax. And touch base with your body. Like connect in with your body. And notice everything in your body. Take time to be with your body. And having just done completed the um, Right Voice for You, it was all about taking off the mask and being us. And one of the exercises, or one of the things that we did do, and I'm going to invite you to, to do, because this is just life-changing, is to pull the energy of all the things you don't like about yourself. Everywhere you think people would reject you for you, all the things that we, for whatever reason, and flow the energy of gratitude of those. All the places that you don't like about you, all the places you don't like about your body, or that you would reject. And everywhere you're rejecting you, flow the energy of gratitude and allow yourself to receive those. One of the terms that Chris used a lot was lean into it. Any place that you are not liking in your life is a place that you're resisting and you stop yourself from receiving. So lean into those places and receive them and have gratitude. Pull that energy of gratitude into those places. Now, we haven't started expanding yet. So let's touch base with Papa Tuanuku and pull energy from Papa Tuanuku up into our bodies and right up through our bodies and out of our crowns. And receive the energy of joy that Papa Tuanuku wants to give to you. Allow yourself to receive that joy and that nurturing that the earth wants to give you. And expand your being right out, fill out the room that you're in. And allow your body to relax. And expand your being out more, more out past the country that you live in. And more and more. Now, would you expand your being in all directions right out as far as you can go, even more? Now, double that and go even more. And go right out past the moon, past the stars, past the galaxies. 
and keep on going and be that space. And actually let's pull that energy of that space from Gary Douglas, of everything that he creates his business with. Let's pull the energy from Gary Douglas. And now let's start asking for what you'd truly like to have as your life. What would I like my life to be? And everything that you're asking for, is it more fun, more joy, more enthusiasm for living, more money, continuously flowing into your life and into your being and into your universe? Would you double that ask now, please, and double that again? And know that everything that you ask for is a done deal. It truly is. And anywhere you have in any part of your universe that you can't create and have more than you ever thought was possible, you destroy and create all of those I can'ts. Right, wrong, good, bad, public, good, no, shorts, boys, and yawns. And would you destroy and uncreate? Or the doubt, the distractor implants of doubt are just distractor implants. And you can just say, yep, I'm going to destroy and create those. Right, wrong, good, bad, public, good, shorts, mignons. And all the shaky stuff that's underneath them and all the mobile strips held in place by quantum particulates holding those doubt distract implants in place will you destroy and uncreate a whole lot. Right, wrong, good, bad, purple, good, no, shorts with me on. And please, would you start pulling the energy of joy and exuberance and fun Into your life, into your being, into your life. And prosperity and wealth. What about wealth? Let's ask for way more wealth than we ever thought was possible. And let's ask for the people to start coming into our lives that are going to contribute to us creating in whatever way that might be. Let's ask for the people who have our back and people who are nurturing to our bodies. Get the energy of people who have kindness and caring. Get the energy of that kind, caring touch on your body. Feel what that feels like and ask for that. Ask for that. How many times shall we exponentialize that ask? Let's ask for those people to show up in our lives who want to contribute to us because there are people out there who really want to contribute to you and your life. And everywhere you think you have to do it on your own, would you destroy and uncreate that? Right, wrong, good, bad, public, or no, shorts, with me on. And keep on expanding. Oops, we forgot to drop the barriers. So let's drop those barriers right now. All those barriers that are stopping us from receiving, we put them up to protect us, but in actual fact, they stop us from receiving the awareness that would protect us way more. Awareness and consciousness will give you more than you ever thought was possible. Let's ask for the awareness to show up for all the things that we're working on. Jim with his shares. Let's pull the energy of the awareness of all the shares that are going to build and grow and expand all of our lives. And let's ask for the awareness around cryptocurrencies and money. Where are good places to invest? and awarenesses around any of your projects that you have 
let's ask for us to exponentialize that awareness that will allow us to create those projects with ease, joy, and glory. Okay, so let's pull the energy of ease and double that energy and pull that energy a million times more of ease in your life and joy and glory, exuberant expression and abundance of life. I allow the universe to provide me with a multiplicity of possibilities, all designed to encompass and support my growth, my awareness, and my joyful expression of life. This is something that came with our very first foundation that Gary did when I did it 19 years ago. And let's ask, what would it take for me to be willing to live the energy of what I like my life to be so that it can show up for me in totality? Everything that doesn't allow that, all the thoughts, feelings, emotions, and no sex I'm using, to absolutely refuse and reject the energy of what I'd like my life to be. I destroy and uncreate that. Time's a good city. Right, wrong, good, bad, proper, going on, and shorts, boys, and meals. Okay, in all the places where we're judging ourselves, let's revoke, recant, rescind, pain, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create all those judgments that we have of ourselves. And I'm noticing that I'm looking at myself in, in the video, and yeah, I've got judgments. I revoke. So everywhere you're judging yourself, the same as me and the same as you, would you revoke, recant, rescind your body? Would you revoke, recant, rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create all those judgments? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine, short, spoils, meons. And does anyone have any questions they'd like to ask today? Just put your hand, just say something if you'd like to. Lucy, thank Hello. you so much for the, um, the, the learning about dropping the barriers and the walls in order to receive. That gave me more clarity. Thank Yay. You yeah. Yeah, those barriers truly do stop us. And they're energetic barriers and you can perceive them. Um, you can perceive them in people that, you know, can't receive from you. Um, one of the things that you can, one of the tools of access is to start pulling energy from the people who have barriers and that does help them to drop their barriers and receive. And it actually, it feels good for them too because when you're pulling energy through people, you're actually contributing to them. Hmm. When you're pulling energy from everything, you're creating that communion with everything and being that communion and just know that we are in communion with everything and everyone. And that's why it's just as easy as asking. All we have to do is ask, what would you like? I'd like to double the amount of money that I'm making with whatever I'm doing. What would that be like? What would it take to triple that? And, it, and if you don't ask, you know you won't get it. So you have to ask, even if you don't think it's possible. It doesn't really matter. So know that everything you ask for will show up in its time when it's ready. Mm. How do we get so lucky to have these tools of access? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. There were there were other things in the beginning and now <laughs> they've completely um uh yeah, I'm not sure um what they are now. You you had some really cool opening statements that I wanted to um well, elaborate uh, on, but they'll come to me another time. Yeah, and you'll get the recording of this and if you want to listen to it again, you know, it's there. Too, because I really know that these 
energy, expanding your being and practice that muscle all day long. Ask for that muscle to expand and, and then pulling energy 24-7. It's like, I know what Kerry Douglas has said to do that, to pull masses of energy from everything and everyone, 24-7. So I'm noticing that I'm doing it more and more and more. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. And we'll see you tomorrow. See you. <laughs>